Hey fellow beaters, it's JP and I have another tutorial for you. I don't know if you remember, but a while back, a few months back, I did this bracelet tutorial. It's very, and I called it the purple lace bracelet. Well, I decided to go ahead and make some earrings to match. So here they are. I think they will look great together and you can um, start putting together a set. Now to make the earrings, what you'll need are 16 four millimeter eightos, um, sorry, 16 four millimeter beads, and they can be pretty much anything you have. So it could be like rounds that I used here. So I have some faceted rounds that I used. You can use pearls, you can use even bicones, they don't have to be rounds, or uh, four millimeter fire polish. Any one of those types of beads will work. You'll need eight per earring, so a total of 16. You are going to need some 110 seed beads, so I'm using Toho's. And you'll need two ear wires. You'll need a beading needle and about half an arm span of thread per earring. I would recommend using a four or six pound fire line because we will be passing through the seed beads several times to reinforce and that's just part of the pattern here so you don't want to use a thread that's too thick and makes it too hard to do the multiple passes anyway well i hope you guys like this tutorial and let's get started to begin our project what you are going to do is string up four 11 o seed beads a four millimeter round bead four 11 o's your round 11 o's round 11 o's round so you should have four rounds and four sets of four 11 o seed beads then go ahead and tie a square knot so what you want is a, a little circle so just like that so I just did there and I apologize if this looks a little clumsy. The camera is very close to my hands and it's really hard to do this when you're in front of the camera. <laughs> anyway, here we go and done. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and pull my knot away. So the knot's gonna get pulled into this bead here and then I'm just gonna keep going until I come out of this next round bead. So, and I might not be able to get into it right away. So pull through the seed beads first and you'll feel the knot pull into the speed. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into this next round here and we are going to go ahead and make the bottom part of the earring. So this little dangle piece that I have on the earring, we're going to go ahead and make that. And to make that, what you need to do is pick up two 11 O's, your four millimeter 11 O, another four millimeter, and then two more 11 O's. And that's what you should have. And what you're gonna do, oh, wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. First part, so skip that part, a second because I need the little what you need is this part here which I don't have yet so let's do that so pick up five eleven O's and go back through that round that your thread is exiting like so so you got a little loop around this um, four millimeter round bead and I'm just going to flip this over and then I'm going to go up three of the seed beads and I'm going to come out of this center bead here in this loop. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can do what you what I was trying to do before. So go ahead and pick up two 11 O's, then four millimeter. Oh, where's the hole? There it is, okay. 11-0, just one. And then another four millimeter. 
and then the two last two 11 O's. I'm just going to push these down my needle and I'm going to go back through that middle seed bead that I'm exiting out of. And you'll get your little dangly loop piece there. And then you just want to reinforce that piece. And so I'll go back through it, through the two. And just take your time. This is kind of a fun project because it goes, these make up for it fairly quickly. I think you'll be able to do this in half an hour or so. And then up into the seed beads and then back through that middle bead like so and you should be good so now we're going to continue and I'm going to go down into these two seed beads here so I can exit out of my four millimeter round that's here So, and I'm just gonna flip the work. Well, I don't need to flip the work just yet. So I'm through those, and now I'm gonna come back into this four millimeter, and then I'm gonna see if I can go through some of these seed beads here, like that. So this piece here should be nice and firm. Now, go ahead and go through this next bead here, this four millimeter. And now we have to make two loops. So pick up five 11 O's. And go through the bead. And then do it again. Pick up five more. Eleven O's and go through the bead. And you should have two loops surrounding this eleven O. And I'm just going to turn this this way. And we are going to go up two. And this, you wanna pick the loop that's kinda of outside the circle and not the inner loop in the circle. So you go through two of the 11 O's. You skip this one and you skip the middle one and you go down your two 11 O's here, like so. And then through the four millimeter bead. And what this done, what this has done is given you this little point, a picot. And this one we're gonna leave alone for now. And we're gonna continue down to this next four millimeter bead. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip the work up so that my wrist is not turned in different odd directions. So go up four seed beads and exit out of that four millimeter bead. Like so. And you wanna make your loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my five 11 O seed beads, like so, and go back through the same four millimeter. Just like that, then I'm gonna flip my circle, my little earring piece here around and tuck my tail between the fingers. And I'm gonna come up just the first, just the three seat beats. So, so I want to come exit out of that middle one. So 
so what we're going to do now is make this piece where our ear wire sits. Um, So to make that piece, what you're going to do is pick up two 11 O's, your four millimeter, and then five 11 O's, another four millimeter, and then two more 11 O's. Push those down, then go back through the seed bead that your thread is exiting. Whoops, there you go. And that's what you should have. And we are gonna reinforce this piece. So I'm gonna go back up as many of the beads as I can. What I actually wanna do is, and I'm gonna skip this center bead because I wanna create that picot again. So this bead gets skipped. like so, and then go down these, make sure you skip that middle one, like I said, and so rotate at the work, hopefully you guys are able to follow me, and you're going through the seed bead here in the center, Then you go down the two beads here. And through this four millimeter bead. Like so. And now we are almost done. We just have to get through these four seed beads and then come out of this next uh, four millimeter bead. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make our loops. So pick up five 11 O's, go through four millimeter then push that towards the center and then you're gonna go through the first three seed beads so you're coming out of this middle bead here in the center you're gonna pick up one seed bead and you're gonna go through the middle bead on the opposite side here. So there should be five, a loop, oops, dropped it. There's going to be a loop of five that you made from earlier, and you're just gonna go through that. And let's see. And I think I went in the wrong direction. Nope, I did it right. Okay, it just looks weird to me. So pick up another one and you're gonna go into, you're basically going back into that middle bead again. And it all looks kind of loose and wonky and that's okay. We are gonna go ahead and tighten this. So go back make another loop. So go, you're exiting here, go into this one, and then that middle one. Then down these two seed beads here. Because remember, we didn't reinforce this loop when we first made it. So that's what we're doing, reinforcing that part of the loop. And I just went through this four millimeter. I'm just gonna turn this for a second just so I can get my 
get the needle through these beads and then I'm going to come out of my center bead here right there and now I'm going to go back down this little bead here and back to the other side of this earring piece and my seed bead here is already getting tight because I've already gone through that a few times. So now it's up to you. You can go back and reinforce this a couple more times if you want, if you don't think it feels firm enough. Um, for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to finish up the earring. And we're really very close to being done here. So I'm gonna go down these two seed beads here And at this point you can trim this tail, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do because I don't need it anymore. It keeps getting in the way anyway. Exit out of the four millimeter only. Pick up five 11 0 seed beads. And go through that four millimeter once again, just like so. We're going to create a picot here. So I'm going to go through two of the beads. So let me flip it so you guys can see better. So I just went through two. I want to skip the center one. And I'm going to go ahead and go through this next one. And then into the four millimeter. And there you have it. There's the little picot. Very, very quick. And now we're just gonna tie off. So now you can go ahead and if you've got extra thread, you can go ahead and reinforce some more. I'm gonna go ahead and tie off. So you just need to make a few half hitch knots. So what I'm gonna do is go down into these four 11 0 seed beads here. Make a half hitch knot right in between the seed bead and the four millimeter and then try to get that knot to pull back um, or pull into the four millimeter. So there's the half hitch. There it goes. Should be nice and tight and let's see if I can go through those. So I'm going to try to do one here and probably one over there. So I'm going to go through those two seed beads. And so if you're a beginner, a half hitch is basically a knot that goes around the thread that's between the two beads and you just pull it through and then, so you got a little knot around those threads and then you just pull the knot through into a larger bead, like so. And then through that and one more. So you can see, I'm just going underneath. See, there's the thread between the two beads. I take the needle under that and then I go into the loop. And that forms a knot. And you pull in, go up seed beads here. So at this point, I'm going to just weave a little bit of the thread and then cut it. And 
Okay. So I'm coming out of this bead. I'm just going to go probably one more. I'm going to go ahead and trim. Okay. Earring is all done. See how simple and quick that was? I'm going to loop through my ear wire, close it snug, and I have a cute pair of sparkly earrings. Okay, my fellow beaters. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. And here's the complete set. Well, I really can't really call it a set. I've got earrings and a bracelet. But the nice thing with the bracelet tutorial is if you make it a little bit longer, this already has a nice drape to it. So if you make it a little bit longer, you can always turn the bracelet into a necklace. Um, and it gives you a cute little set. So you'll have um, a bracelet, a necklace, and some earrings.